country can be attacked successfully, there can be no purpose in war. I want to state explicitly that this invention of mine does not contemplate the use of any so-called death rays. Rays are not applicable because they cannot be produced in requisite quantities and diminish rapidly in intensity with distance. I do not say that there may not be several destructive wars before the world accepts my gift. I may not live to see its acceptance, but I am convinced that a century from now every nation will render itself immune from attack. At present we suffer from the derangement of our civilization because we have not yet completely adjusted ourselves to the machine age. The solution of our problems does not lie in destroying but in mastering the machine. Innumerable activities still performed by human hands today will be performed by automatons. At this very moment scientists working in the laboratories of American universities are attempting to create what has been